Hey guys, I hope that you are flourishing today. I want to demonstrate how to search for multiple terms. As you might expect, you're going to do that by creating a search term like usual and just doing that multiple times. You're clicking on a word, clicking on the feature and hitting create search term. And they appear up here. If you want to remove them, you can hit the remove button and you can actually clear them all at once. And then when you hit search, uh, the results pop up. Now this blue highlighted section that you see uh, with the red terms highlighted is a syntax range that you can define in this search tool setting and a search range and you can see it's currently set to clause. Now what that means is that Mayim and Tahor are syntactically related. They're in the same clause. That's useful because normally you're looking for words that are in the same clause but maybe you're just looking for words that are nearby so you might choose something like verse or sentence. If we do the search again, you'll see that we have now six results. Now sometimes that's useful because you're looking for words that are just nearby one another. But sometimes you want to uh, find a particular phrase and so you want to narrow it even further. So let's say we're looking for something like Alcane, Al Alpine, sorry. Uh, we can create that search term like usual. And if we have our search range set to verse, uh, we do the search and firstly we'll end up with more than 500 results so it'll filter them some of them out and some of those search terms uh, or the results are relevant but some of them are not at all so for example Genesis 3310 you can see here the L is actually part of L Cain not L Pene. Uh, and same thing uh, elsewhere here so what we might want to do is set this to phrase and what that means is that it's just a smaller syntactical unit. So if we look for Genesis 3310 in these results, well firstly you'll notice that it's far fewer than 500, but Genesis 3310 is not going to be here um, because it's they're not found in the same phrase. So this is just going to help you narrow down what you're actually looking for. I hope that helps.